I feel like peach tones look so good on darker skin tones. They just they just sit so right. Tell the walk one blood. Who killing them in the UK? Everybody gonna say UK. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and over here we do beauty related content. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe. And if you do end up liking this video, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate when you do. So today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be doing some peachy nude lip combos. So peach is one of my favorite colors to play with. And I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago if you guys wanted peach nude combos or chocolate nude combos, matte nude combos or a mix of the all of the above. Most people said all of the above. Um, and after that, the first option was peachy nude lip combos. And... I myself, I love peach nude combos. Like I love messing around with peachy nudes. I feel like they're just so complimentary, so feminine, so pretty. So if you want to see that, please keep on watching. So the first lip combo we're gonna go in with is my NYX Slide On Glide On pencil in the shade Urban Cafe. This pencil, I think this is my third one, and I'm gonna need a fourth soon. So 100% recommend it. It's really good, really creamy. I'm sure you've heard all there is to say about this. I'm sure everyone talks about it. Actually, I don't know, but I recommend it. Get it. It's lovely. And I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Shade Gloss in the shade Knockout. During summer, this was like my go-to combo. I loved it so much. So I'm gonna show you this quick and easy combo. And I do overline slightly, like very, very slightly. I kind of just put my pull my lips in like this. And I just emphasize my cupid's bow. And then everywhere else I don't overline, I just keep it normal. It just gives me a more pouty look. So with my cupid's bow, I line on the line. And with um, the rest of my lip, I line inside the line. So. And then I'm just going to further put it in here. And that is how I line my lips. So yeah, I loved this lip combo so much during summer. It's just, it's everything. The lip liner is like a warm orangey brown and um, the lip gloss is like a light peach so it just works together so well to me I don't know I don't know if you guys would like it but I love it I love it so much and you guys should already know how I feel about these glosses I have like a whole video talking about them if you want to see that video it will be right up I think it's here right up here <laughs> I feel like I kind of overdid it on the overlining, I'm not sure, but I like it. <laughs> so for this next lip combo, I am going to just wipe off the gloss in the middle and change the gloss because I'm using the same brand of gloss, the same type but just a different shade. And this shade is Glorified. This was my favourite of the um, Revolution Shade Brilliant Lip Glosses when it first came out. I loved it so much, I use it on my birthday, I used it all the time. I still really love it. I gave mine to my mom and she lost it. So this is a new one. And I'm just gonna put that in the center. I'm sure you guys can see why I loved this one. This was like perfect shade. Like look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. So it's like um it's a peachy nude, but it's not as light as the first peachy nude I showed you. And this one just, it complements my skin tone so well. And it has like a pink hint, but not pink, which is what I like. Um, at some point, I was obsessed with pink. So if you guys want a pink um, lip combo video, let me know. Not pink pink, but like, you know, baby pink. At some point, I was obsessed, but then I kind of veered off into like a more peachy kind of look. And this is the perfect peach lip and it's so simple one liner one gloss and you're good to go and it has good color payoff everything I love it. so 
So this liner is also a beautiful warm brown but it doesn't have as much like orange in it as um, the Urban Cafe from NYX. So if you wanted something with a bit less orange, I would go with this. It's also very affordable. I think this is like one pound. And the lipstick I'm going to pair it with is the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade In Vogue. They're so creamy, so beautiful. So yeah, this is that lip combo. This is so pretty! I love it. I love it when it's matte. I also love it when it's glossed up. So now that you can see what it looks like matte, I'm definitely going to gloss it up like 100%. 100%. So I'm going to go into my Kiko Milano um, Hydro Lip Gloss in the shade, ooh, I've rubbed the shade off. I think this was 08, but I'll put the shade on the screen and everything that I use today is going to be linked in the description box. I love this lip gloss, it doesn't have like a super intense pigment to it, which I also kind of like because I love it on the days where I'm not going for a a bold look like a thick like if i'm going to work this is a really nice lip gloss to wear it makes your lips look really nice and peachy but not overly pigmented so you can just wear it on its own it doesn't need a liner and you can also wear it on top of a lip combo and so juicy so beautiful so. i feel like peach tones look so good on darker skin tones they just they just sit so right but to be honest what color doesn't look on good on dark skin what colour does not look good on dark skin? Riddle me that. <laughs> so this next lip combo is also going to be very affordable. So I'm going in with the Morphe lip liner in the shade Bar. So this is one of the ones that's not too warm. This is almost neutral. And I'm going to go into the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Clay Crush. I love it. Mm, I really love this lip liner. To be honest, I wanted to make a video on the lip liners that I love, but I love so many. And when I swatched them on the back of my hand, a lot of them looked almost identical, but I feel like they give me different looks on the lips. So if you guys actually want to see one, let me know, but I don't know if it will be all that helpful. I feel like go with Morphe, go with MUA because they're super affordable, super high quality. So now I'm going to go in with the lipstick. So I recently discovered Maybelline lipsticks over last summer and I fell in love, like oh my gosh. So these things were just hiding in Superdrug and I never chose to look at them. Gorgeous. Very, very affordable, very high quality, I love it. Nothing compares to MAC though. But this is really nice. And to gloss it up, I'm going to go in with my clear glosses, the reigning champ. This is Revolution. <laughs> Revolution Hydro Bomb in the shade. Elements is a clear gloss, but obviously because I use it so much, it's turned into this color. Now, how gorgeous is that? How gorgeous is that gloss? I have this gloss up like every video, but you guys, I don't know if you guys are listening. This gloss is really something. So speaking of MAC, I had to do a MAC lip combo for you one time just to show you like MAC is superior. The superior lip products, they reside at MAC. But yeah, I'm going to start off with everybody's favourite girl chestnut lip liner. Beautiful. It just has that rich depth to it. Like it has a nice warmth that's just like a nice roasted red. Like I love it. Very beautiful. And for the lipstick, I'm going to go in with my first favourite lipstick. This is my first. Yeah, this is my first favourite lipstick. This is the shade Taupe. So I don't know if this is a bit too dark to be considered a peachy nude, but this does have those warm terracotta undertones. It's like a nice warm brown that just... It just gives, it gives. Now this one definitely doesn't need glossing up, but if you do want to gloss it up, who's going to tell you anything? gonna tell you any different so if I'm gonna gloss it up um, I'm just gonna go ahead and gloss out with cheeky by Fenty this is another peachy lip gloss you can wear this on its own very beautiful and you can also wear it over top a lipstick I've never worn them together in this in this setting I've never worn it with this but we're gonna try it and we're gonna see I think it's gonna give it a bit more warmth 
I love this. I don't know what to say about it, but I just think it's really pretty, really grown, grown and sexy, really 90s. Um, yeah, I like it. it. It just kind of veers away from like the nude that we're used to, which is giving a little something, like, giving a little spice, which I like. last but not least i'm gonna be going in with a newcomer to my collection so i'm gonna be going in with coming in hot by Viv by jamie jamie genevieve here on youtube the packaging beautiful the packaging is what i like it's kind of weighted and it has like that magnetic closure satisfying <laughs> and it's, i think it's only right to use it with the lip liner as well so this is Viv like Viv lip liner in the shade tailored it's just like a nice brown it's not warm tone at all it's actually kind of cool tone but it gives that 90s vibe the lipstick is not coming off as warm as i remember it but so i'm just going to go in with the lip liner again to give it a bit more definition because i kind of went over the lines So with me and lip liner, I want there to be definition, but I also want them to be blended. So that's why you see me all the time go in back and forth with like blending it and then going in with the liner again. I feel like this one definitely needs a lip gloss to blend it a little bit further. So I'm going to go in with, this is appropriate, I'm going to go in with ABH mini lip gloss in the shade Peachy. So I reviewed this set a while ago on my channel and I'll have it linked up there. So it's a peachy shade with some gold flecks in it. Yeah, that kind of brought it together. That kind of gave it what I was looking for. But I feel like I still need a bit of warmth from this lip combo. So I'm going to add a bit of... This is nice, but for what I'm going for... It kind of matches my top. But for what I'm going for today, I want a bit more warmth in there. So I'm going to go in with... The Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Cheeky. Yeah, that gave me what I was looking for. So yeah, that is that. That was the final lip combo. This one was like the most complicated one, but yeah. So yeah, we've come to the end of the video and I'm so happy to make this video for you guys. You know I love doing lip combos and you guys seem to like watching them. But yeah, um, let me know if you guys want other themed lip combo videos, if you guys want berries, if you guys want chocolates, whatever you guys may want, let me know and I will be happy to oblige. So that is it for today, please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'd love to see you in the next one.